Okay, welcome to take two, the War Machine and Hordes vlog, where I talk about various things. I am still working on Thorn, so he's getting there. Um, I'm not overly impressed with the whites on him. Um, it's a little bit, I'm not very well practiced at painting whites. Uh, this is actually the first time I've ever actually attempted it. So I'm not as happy as I, ha I am with the rest of it, but that's okay. It's just a matter of practicing and getting better at it. So we'll launch straight into tonight's topic, which is the Wintercon wrap up. So uh, if you've been following this, you will know that I attended Wintercon last weekend. Uh, I was entered into both the Masters and the Who's the Boss. And um, I'm just going to give a wrap up of my uh, masters. Um, and then if there's time, I will then also do a wrap up of the who's the boss. So it was four rounds. There was about four, there were 42 players in total. And I took, uh, if you listen to, again, if you listen to last week's, so I took Ashlyn and Gorton on ADR. So, round one, I get paired up against Jake. He's from Canberra. I know him. I've played him on several occasions. He was sporting, I think, Veil 2 tier. I can't remember what his alternative list was, but he, and he brought Lilith 2. Uh, and I dropped Gorton into that. Thinking about it now, what I should actually have done there was just get Ashlyn out of the way and then not had myself be list locked. But, uh, spoiler alert, by the way. But that's okay. It's, uh, you know, I haven't actually had, I haven't had as much practice against Lilith 2 as I would like. By that I mean I've had none. Uh, I think that was the first time, maybe this, no, second time I've ever played it. The first time I played it was at Wintercon last year in the last round where I got tabled. And it happened again. Um, I, oh, okay. uh, so yeah, I lost uh, five to three on control points, but he destroyed my entire army. Um, I did manage to take down a couple of the beasts, but... Uh, it was a really hard matchup. I also faded incorrectly with Gorton. Um, I think I'm just a bit rusty. I must admit, I still think I'm a bit rusty with him. Um, had this have been a year ago, I think I would have done a lot better with Gorton because I I had had a lot of practice with him and I understood, but I haven't actually played him a lot since then. Uh, so that was yeah, round one. I got completely annihilated. Um, Round two, I played against Michael Hooper. He's another Canberra local. Uh, he was bringing Retribution. He had Virus 2 and... Run? Um, he actually left his Eris 1 at home and was able to own, was able to borrow someone's for the second round. <laughs> so he played Virus 2 into, into, into Gorton as well. Um, so I think there are a few things that happened in this game. First of all, he forgot to feet on turn two, um, which then allowed me to destroy, I think, I think I killed on that turn three griffins. Um, and then, uh, he then feated on the, yeah, that's right, I won first turn and I... Ran up, and then he ran up, and then I destroyed some of his griffins, and then he got to feet. Then I destroyed more of his griffins and blinded two of them. So he, he, I think at the end of the third turn, he went from having, I think, six griffins down to two, which were both blind, and then three aspices. Uh, and then I started scoring defensively, and he had no choice but to put Virus in a position where he would be killed. And then the Earthbreaker just finished him off in melee. And that was the end of that. Uh, round three was probably the most frustrating round for me. Um, not because of my opponent. All of my opponents were great on the weekend. They were all a really nice group of guys. I had a lot of fun playing against them. 
Uh, this round was frustrating because it was Cardle. I got paired up against Robin, and he was playing Cardle, and he had um, Vlad 2 and Strakov. And he chose his Vlad list because otherwise he was going to be list locked. I elected to be list locked and dropped Gorton. Um, what ended up happening was I had a position, I was in a position where I could score on the bottom of two. I had to kill one feated on, one Vlad feated um, Outrider, Greylord Outrider, one Vlad feated Winterguard Rifleman. And two feated on uh, Iron Fang Ulans. There we go. Um, Snapjaw easily killed one. He did it with just a boosted hit, boosted damage. Uh, the Earthbreaker then killed his... Sorry, the, the um, scenario was destruction. I killed the Objective and the Outrider and the uh, Winterguard Rifleman. Because they were both in base to base. So I shot both of them off the table. Then the Earthbreak, then the Kaazi went in on the uh, remaining Ula and failed to kill. Um, I mean, it is dice off. They were 22. So I mean, it was dice off 10, but several of them charged and several of them missed. Um, and then. The Earthbreaker still... <clears throat> I did do the Earthbreaker last. What happened was I needed... I rolled five shots for the Earthbreaker and I needed nines to hit. And then it was just dice off... I think it was dice off eight. And I had boosted damage. So I missed the all on five times. But I did manage to succeed in killing three of my own... Um, three of my own chaos needing the same to hit. So that was unfortunate. Um, and then he still didn't contest the zone after that. He can, he put his, uh, warjack into the zone. I had snapjaw throw it out, cleared the zone and scored and went to three. And then he had, he had a few models, uh, just, um, kill Gorton with death of a thousand cuts. Uh, he had, I think, his last attack killed Gorton. He could have put, he could have potentially gotten some spray donkeys onto it, but I think I positioned Gorton, the Earthbreaker, and Thor in a position that he wasn't going to get close enough to actually take them out. Um, that was probably the most frustrating round of the day for me because I did feel like that game was mine to lose because I got well up on attrition. Uh, it turns out two units of Eliminators... And Kel Baylock against um, a bunch of Nis and Eris 2. It turns out really badly for the Valachev Nis and Eris 2. Um, the only problem was, was that he was able to... I left Eris unengaged intentionally um, to try and block the charges from the Nis. But then I forgot that they were defense 15. So I overcommitted the... Assassins in an attempt to break the Nis, and they didn't break. Um, and then Eris wiped off my focus on my wall, then I got charged by two dudes and I died. So that was the end of round four. Then in last round, uh, there was an issue with the matchmaking, and I got paired up accidentally because it, I was recorded as winning when I lost. And I was forced to play Ashlyn into Kane 2. Um, this game, I got absolutely diced. Uh, it took my Nis, Gun Mages, and uh, my Nis, my Gun Mages, and the Forge Guard because I sided out the I sided out the Galleon because it was Kane two and he had a whole bunch of things which could ignore line of sight. So I didn't want the Galleon to be a problem, and I thought it was easier just to jam a whole bunch of small base models in the way. Um, it took yeah my Nis, my Forge Guard, and my Gun Mages. Uh, I shot at the boom. I shot at his boom howlers for three rounds, and they. I missed more than I hit. Um, and when I did hit, I would. I quite often failed to crack armor, even though it was sixes then sevens. Um, and then the 
few, which I did. I think he only lost like five of the 10 man unit. So in the end, I got so far down on attrition board position and everything else that I went for a stupid assassination on Kane, which obviously didn't work. And then I died. So yeah, I went one and three. Um, yeah, so that was Masters. Oh, there's still a bit of time. We'll go through who's the boss. So, who's the boss was three rounds. There was, I think, 30-odd people in it. Um, round one, I drew Jugga Jugga. Uh, and my list for that, I ended up playing Signar. So it was Thorn, Stormclad, and a Squire as the battle group. Gun Mages with UA and a Hunter attached. And then a min unit of Stormblades. Um, so... Jugga Jugga got dropped into Trolls with P Vlad. Um, I got demolished, but at the same point in time, if I had have remembered what Jugga Jugga's feet did, I think I could have drawn the game out a little bit because Jugga Jugga replenishing her fury every turn with crit poison. I think if I had have been more intelligent, I could have very carefully piecemealed out all of the waters because it was. Mog, Pyre Troll, Double Waters, Full Stone, and Troll Moses. So, um, yeah, I think if I had been a little bit more cautious and a little bit more um, sensible with my feet, because I completely forgot about it, um, then I could have potentially drawn out a win, but it was unlikely because um, P Vlad with Trolls is pretty good, I hear. Um, I did kill Mog and the Pyre Troll though and forced him to become very cautious about spending his fury. He didn't want to cast Signs Importance after that because he was afraid that if he misplayed it, he wouldn't be he had no he wouldn't have enough transfers and he wouldn't be able to kill me if he overcommitted on it. <clears throat> but yeah, I ended up losing that one. Uh, in the second round, I drew Karchev, the terrible. That's his actual title. I, I hope that's not a pet name people just give for him. I'm pretty sure it's Karchev the Terrible. Um, into Lilith 3. Uh, now, my opponent had a circle army, which was Gedarix, a Stalker, a Gorax, two stones, one with UA, and a full unit of Nis with Nuala. Now, I... My opponent, um, I don't think it had had any experience playing on time turns, because he timed himself on the, uh, uh, at the top of two after feeding with Lilith. Um, uh, that's with his extension. So he extended and still went to time and he didn't, he didn't, he barely had activated his, uh, stalker, which had been primaled. So he managed to charge it. So he'd thrown it away. Um, so I got a long way off on attrition. I traded half of his unit of uh, blood trackers for just my, I think for two gun mages and maybe a couple of points of damage on my, oh, that's right. And the, uh, some damage on my hunter. Um, but then he moved and started defensively scoring. He scored one point and I freaked out thinking that I, and got it into my head that if I didn't kill him this turn, I was going to lose. So I did the math. He had, he was camping two transfers. I had Karchev in a position where he could tow both Thorn and the Stormclad into position and then charge. And then if they both charged, because they both charged for free, they both needed sevens to hit and they were Thorn was at dice minus six and the Stormclad was at dice plus one. So I felt that with the two attacks from Thorn and then the five attacks, because I had enough focus to fully load the... Um, Stormclad. I felt that if I done if I did that, needing sevens to hit, dice plus one wouldn't be too bad, provided the hunter did some damage. The hunter got it down to eleven, and then what? But what happened was, um, I needed the gun majors. There was one blood tracker who was blocking the charge lanes, so I needed to get him get the, get her out of the way. So I had five gun mage, four gun mage shots. They all missed. I then had to use Thorn because the Stormblades couldn't get there because Thorn was in the way. So Thorn went, Thorn missed twice, and then the Stormblades had to come in and mop up. So I still was in the mindset that I was going to lose. So I went all in on the five attacks. I needed all five to hit, and then I needed two of them to deal average 
I mean, less than average damage. I needed to basically spike one damage roll. I missed four times. So, um, but had I just continued to attrition him out, his, his uh, blood trackers were half dead. He was down a stalker. He only had Gedrix, a and a Gorax, which was out, out of control. Uh, it got back into control because then he then primaled Gedrix and then uh, killed Karchev. Um, but yeah, I, if I had have kept a cool ahead during that mu match, I probably would have won that one. So I lost, I lost that one myself. Um, and then in the last round, I ended up getting Fiona the Black into Protectorate with Durgan. Um, unfortunately, because I was running such a balanced list, I couldn't deal. I two of my matchups were both. The Protectorate player was running Full Bastions, Avatar, Reckoner, Vassal Choir, and uh, Unit of Daughters. And the Gun Mages couldn't hit the Daughters because they need AIDS. And the um, and they couldn't kill the Bastions and they couldn't deal with the Jacks. So the Gun, the gun Mages were pretty much useless the entire day. Um, although that being said, I won first turn. Bottom of one, he shot the... Hunter twice and killed it. Um, so, and then the avatar finished off. Yeah, once once I'd lost the hunter, I needed the hunter, and because he spiked both damage rolls. Um, yeah, I just there wasn't anything I could do after the hunter was down. Really, um, this it was a dead scenario. Um, in the end, I went in on Gorton using Thorn. Um, and uh, trying to soul fire him to death, and it just I just came up short because the first one, the first one missed, and then I used the squires reroll, and then it still missed, and then um, the second one hit but failed to damage. So yeah, so that's my recap from Wintercon. I ended up going one and three for the weekend. Um, Oh, well, this one can run a little long. We'll run this one a little long today because I've now had a game with Haley 3. She is both fun, confusing, and intriguing at the same time. She is so cool. Uh, I'm really, really, really impressed with the options she brings. Now, I lost my first... I lost my game, um, but I've now also realized... So I ma I made a big play mistake. My opponent kind of all in on an assassination, and then and it and came up short. And then instead of thinking, right, I'm way up on attrition, I should go for points here and start scoring defensively and put him in a position where he's got to try and come to me with his battered and destroyed force. Um, I instead went all in on my own assassination, which failed, and then he killed me the next turn. So I need to remember. I need to remember that. If your opponent messes up, you don't capitalize by assassinating. You're better off capitalizing by scoring points because then it puts the pressure back on them to counteract you because if they don't, then they will lose and you get ahead in attrition. Now, I was a long way ahead in attrition. I'd lost, I think I only ended up losing like four trenches and Haley at the end of that game. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I, I was... Annoyed with myself for that last one, um, but that's okay. Um, yeah, Haley's very complex. She's got a lot of things that she wants to do at the same time, and not enough focus and not enough time, really. Um, but yeah, she's really fun. I'm so pleased that I've. She's definitely instantly made me not regret returning to Signal, and I'm having an. I, I think this is going to be. Um, an excellent, an excellent X, X amount of time with Signa until I decide that I've had enough and will probably switch to Legion for a bit. Uh, yeah, so I will continue. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, I might actually be able to get a game in this weekend and get that one uploaded. Um, no promises because, you know, it is me and seems to be that finding an opponent which doesn't clash with the regular weekly taunt events which are held here there is a weekly event held here um, on a Sunday and it seems to be that the only time I have free to record is a Sunday um, and I don't have the time to I don't want to interrupt 
the standing the standing community events for my videos. So we'll see how that goes. And yeah, hopefully we'll have our first game uploaded on the weekend and or next well, uploaded when I can upload it. And um yeah, that's about it. So thank you for this longer video. Uh thank you for watching this longer video I should say. Um uh, managed to get the front bit of Thorn done, so he is getting there and I I Really enjoying painting him. Um, I haven't quite decided what my next project's going to be after Thorn because he is now well and truly over halfway. I'm now sort of getting to the tail end of him. I've only got one arm, then the top half of his legs and his torso, and then he's done. Um, oh, and his head. And then that's it. So I don't know what I'm going to paint next. It'll probably, it'll almost undoubtedly be Haley 3, actually, thinking about it. But that's a story. Oh, that's a model for another time. So until next time, keep playing like you have a pair.